What's going on guys? I've got the new setup in the back, so let's give it a test drive. But in this video, we are going to be talking about Ignition Model's latest release, but I've got a bonus and I'm gonna be comparing this to AutoArt's version. So let's get started right now. So we're gonna be comparing two 18 scale models and we'll try to do this as best as possible. But let's begin with the existing contender and the reigning champion so far. Uh, that's gonna be this, AutoArt. Z-Tune R34. I've actually done a video on this bit already, but what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna compare this to Ignition Model's version of the R34. So we'll put that down there. Check it out. A Little bit of a hard to decipher between these two. I'll be honest, they did freaking amazing. Ignition Model has done some previous R34s in the past. Uh, I don't know if they did a V-Spec Z-Tune version of it uh, in this Midnight Purple 3 though. This might be the first First time but we're gonna be comparing these two bad boys side by side so bear with me as I make some space here and let's get started Let's start first with the price point. Okay, so the price point between these two, you got AutoArt here. They're gonna be coming in at around the 240, 250 range when they first released. The Ignition model is actually going to be in the 320-ish, 330-ish range. And then, you know, you've got to include shipping, taxes, and all that kind of stuff. The auto art does not come uh, with a plastic base like this and the typical traditional display that ignition model comes in. The auto art just coming in the styrofoam packaging, so nothing fancy, a lot of effort put into the cars, and that's just how auto arts have always been. Let's begin with the details of the front end. So let's start with ignition model here. You can see the front end is looking absolutely mean. You can see the black housing headlights, GTR logo, license plate. You can see a lot of those details behind the grill. Check that out. You can see the condenser, the horn and things like that. Uh, you can see the Nismo logo right there in front of the intercooler. You've got the turn signals here. You've got the carbon fiber lip. And then you'll also notice this extra black splitter right there underneath the carbon fiber lip. You've got the vented hood there. And the detail on the headlights actually look really, really good. So let's compare this to the Auto Art. Auto Art doesn't seem to have the pronounced detailed features behind that grill. Uh, part of that reason I think is because the grill is actually covering most of it. The mesh on it is just a a little bit darker so you can't see that stuff in the back whereas on the ignition model the grill is super thin so you can almost see through it almost like it doesn't have a grill but right there you can see the Nismo logo which actually on the auto art is misplaced and this was actually one of the complaints that was in the previous video I made of this car you can see that the Nismo logo is far tucked underneath the license plate now the headlight detail I would also say that the auto art does look a little bit lackluster uh, not as detailed as the ignition Look at the ignition model. You see those lines in there and everything? You can actually see the detailed differences in those. Check that out. And the black housing just looks a lot more sleek on the resin uh, as opposed to the auto art. Auto art doing a great job though on those body lines and the gaps between the fenders, hood, and front bumper because the ignition model, keep in mind guys, it's a resin, so it's sealed, no opening components. But then of course the auto art, you have the uh, additional detail of the hood opening all right so you've got all that so awesome details from the auto art oh, also you see here how it doesn't have the extra bottom of the carbon fiber lip so uh, something that the ignition model does have i'm actually not sure if that's a standard feature maybe someone in the comments uh, can help me on that moving on to the hood the hoods actually look exactly the same you've got the vent the wipers and the lines going right here so ignition model not taking any shortcuts there everything is the way it's supposed to be and then let's talk about this color guys the color the paint same right i mean these is this is backed by nissan so nissan's going to share that paint code with them so they cannot screw this up you can see the midnight purple shining and changing colors as i'm doing it right here it looks like both are shining exactly the same so we got to give props to both brands from that perspective but now let's go on to the side now on the side, I'm gonna say that there is some difference. Uh, one of the biggest differences that I'm, I noticed right off the bat is the front fenders. Uh, obviously the Z-Tunes have the uh, wider blister looking fenders, right? And check this out, it's kind of strange. 
And you guys tell me what you think. You see on the auto art, front fender, not as pronounced. You can see the blister effect right here towards the end, which is normal. But then, you know, you go to the front middle where the wheel arc is and it's not as crazy, right? But check out the ignition model and I don't know what you guys think about it. It looks like it's really pronounced. Again, you guys tell me which is the correct setup. Is it the auto arts version or this ignition model version? You see how aggressive that is? It might be ignition models version actually, but I'll let you guys decide. You can see it's got the side markers on both. It's got that GT emblem on both. You've got the black gloss Nismo five spoke wheels on both. Both are rocking the Brembo big brakes front and back, right? So we got front and back, so no problems there. Both are rocking the slotted rotors. I can see that detail here. Uh, one thing I would say about the ignition model is the stance. The stance actually looks really nice. Uh, ignition model known for putting in a little bit of effort for the aftermarket stance of their model cars. Um, you've got the side skirts here, all about the same. No differences there. Uh, side view mirrors, check. Window moldings, everything good. Door handle, check. Rear quarter panel, let's take a look at the rear quarter panel area here. Yep, they've got the same flare going on. So nothing too distinctly different uh, between those two there. You've got the fender arch here, which is on both. That's another added difference with these uh, Z-Tunes. One little detail I do notice is, check a, take a look here at the wheels. You see the lug nuts, all black, right? Which might be correct. I mean, they do make black lug nuts, right? But Ignition Model did go the extra mile and they offset it with a pair of silver lug nuts or maybe it's missing lug nuts, but it is there. One, two, three, four, five, five lug. And some extra brownie points for auto art. You can see that it's got some Bridgestone Potenza tires here. And then if you cross over to the Ignition Model, you will see no name brand tires. A little bit of a stretchy thing going going on as well. Uh, probably to be able to tuck under the fenders, especially with it being lowered, but just something else that is noticeable between the two. Now the difference again, guys, is that ignition model does not roll. It's for static display, so don't expect any rolling wheels here. Whereas the auto art, you are for sure gonna get the rolling action. The door opens here on the auto art, as you can see, you can take a look at the inside and all that fun stuff with the auto art, right? So they do uh, win points there for sure. But now let's move on to the back. On the rear of the car, you have a lot of things going on. So let's see if they missed anything. You've got the spoiler, right? On both with the carbon fiber insert there. The auto art, of course, opening up with the carpeted trunk interior, which is a nice addition. Ignition model, not gonna open, but that's okay. You've got the tail lights. Tail lights are looking pretty good. Looks like you've got the uh, amber insert there, right there for the turn signal. Here, you've got it going on in the back as well. You've got all the logos on both. So you've got a Nissan logo, you've got the GTR logo, you got the trunk keyhole, you got the red and white reflectors here, you got a Z-Tune license plate. I will say that the ignition model's like muffler exhaust looks a lot cooler. Uh, here on the auto art, let's take a look. You've got the coolers, dual coolers down there at the bottom. You can see that exhaust looking a little bit simple, a little bit plain. Uh, it doesn't have the same effect as the uh, ignition model. The ignition model looks nice. It's like polished, clean looking. Maybe those are some of the areas where ignition model has an advantage at being a resin. They can really make those little details pop out. And then you can see the dual uh, cooler setup down there. You can see all the little intricate details for the AN fittings and the hose. It's all there. That looks really good actually on the ignition model. I know it's hard to see on the camera and not bad on the auto art too that one's really hard to decide who did it better <laughs> but it is there the bumper you've got the uh the different bumper here with the little aerodynamic piece going along the side same thing on the auto art as you can see right here and then on the rear window you've got defrost on both you got the wiper i do like the color red of the seat insert there on the ignition model you can see it right there whereas on these auto art it kind of looks a little bit faded see that it's just not as red you can also see the seat belt details there at the bottom on the ignition. I like that they left it so that you can see through the window. Sometimes ignition model will cheat and they'll tint the window so that they don't have to do any uh, details in the back. Okay, I like that the ignition model also has the better speaker details in the back with the black carpeting. Uh, whereas the on the auto art, you don't really see the speaker detail. They're just plastic inserts. It doesn't have that mesh grill effect. Whereas here on the, ign on the ignition, you can really see those speaker details. Check it out. See the mesh there, you see the cross the X thing going on, and then you got the black carpeting, so that looks really cool. 
Now on the ignition, you won't be able to see the interior details, which is what we're gonna be moving on to next, but check out the three spoke steering wheel there, the red and the black. You've got the uh, console, e-brakes, stick shift. You got the bucket seats there with the red insert, right? Seat belt details are there. And how about the dash, dash, all there, right? You got the airbag, you got the little information piece there in the center. The vents are there too. The, the, the hood for the uh, dash there, everything is there. Let's take a look at the Auto art, which is real simple, because all you gotta do is open this up. So, oof, there it is. Yeah, it's 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 pretty close. Uh, pretty good actually, not too bad. Just the red just doesn't seem as dark. You know, you've got all these door details on the auto art too, so give them bonus points on that. The seats are there. The red just seems a little bit faded. I kind of thought that maybe it should be a little bit more red, but uh, auto art, not doing too bad. That was a bit of a powerhouse of a review between these two big brands, but let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. And I really hope that these two brands continue to bring the heat. If you want to check out that video where I do a full review on this auto art Z tune, you can check out that video right there. I'll see you guys in that video or the next video.